Andrew Jackson. How do I even begin to describe Andrew Jackson? I hear his scar is insured for $10,000. I hear he does weapon commercials in London. His hair is full of secrets. He's fabulous, but he's evil. He shot me once. It was awesome. I saw Andrew Jackson wearing army boots and breeches, so I bought army boots and breeches. He met a girl in Charlestown. She told him she wanted to touch his musket. He's the old hickory, the star. Everyone else is just his little workers. <laughs> Stop trying to make old hickory happen. It's never going to happen. I'm sorry that people are jealous of me, but I can't help it that I'm so popular. <sighs>《Was March 15th, 1767. Elizabeth Jackson gave birth to her third child only a little while after burying her husband. His name was Andrew Jackson. Jackson was raised by his mother. He went to local schools when he was young, and he didn't receive much more than an elementary education. The Revolutionary War took a toll on the Jackson family. At age 13, Andrew became a courier for the Continental Army. Jackson and his brother Robert were captured and held captive by the British. In custody, they nearly starved to death. Come here. Shine my shoes. Do it well. No. scarred Jackson emotionally as well as physically. By the time their mother finally arranged for their release, the boys had caught smallpox. On April 27, 1781, Robert Jackson died of the disease. But that wasn't the end of Andrew's troubles. As soon as his mother Elizabeth was sure that he was on his way to recovery, she volunteered to treat smallpox victims. Until she fell ill with cholera in November 1781 and died to be buried beneath an unmarked grave. Jackson was left a brotherless orphan at only age 14. For the loss of his family, he would forever blame the British. As he grew older, Jackson turned to the military. I appoint you, Andrew Jackson, commander of the Tennessee Militia. Make your country proud. <laughs> Bend, Jackson's bravery led us to receiving 20 million acres of land in present-day Georgia. After war, Jackson's rise in Tennessee politics was meteoric, attesting to his strength of character. He was a first delegate to the State Constitutional Convention of 1795. Soon he became Tennessee's first congressman. Then he became a senator! He resigned after one year to take a job closer to home. He finally became judge of Tennessee's Superior Court. Jackson was notorious for explosive quarrels, which led to duels. Perhaps his most well-known duel was fought with Charles Dickinson. It all started with a minor misunderstanding over a horse race. This misunderstanding ended in a battle to the death. You know, Jackson, it's never 
are too late to back out. Ha! And miss all the fun! Oh, that's right. You wouldn't want to ruin your precious reputation. Let's see how good your reputation is as a dead man! Jackson lived with a bullet in his chest from then on. In 1788, Jackson moved to Nashville, Tennessee, where he roomed with Rachel Stockley Donaldson. It was there that he met the love of his life, Rachel Sr.'s daughter, Rachel Jr. Andrew, I would like you to meet my daughter, Rachel. <laughs> Jackson married her in 1791. Rachel and Robard's divorce, however, was invalid. After she realized this, Rachel finalized the divorce with Robards, the first in Kentucky history. Rachel and Jackson then remarried in 1794. This false divorce, however, would come back to haunt the pair. Is it true that you, Andrew Jackson, are guilty of bigamy? I beg your pardon. Your wife, Rachel Jackson. I hardly see the point of bringing my wife into this conversation. I see to it as a show of your true character, a side of you that America needs to know before you ever plan to become president. I am not guilty. My wife, your wife, has been married before. Very recently. Yes, and she has been properly divorced. So you admit she was married? To a man named Luce Roberts? Perhaps you met her when she was still married to him. Yes, but he procured a divorce in 1791. Now Rachel and I are very happy together. I am a man of my prospects, and I am appalled that you would accuse me of such a thing as bigamy. I think everyone can see your true character now. Congratulations, Tara. John Quincy Adams, our newly elected sixth president of the United States of America. This is preposterous to be made a fool by you. You will never be half the man I am. I have more drive in my pinky finger than you hold in your entire body. I am flabbergasted and completely insulted. You're just jealous because I'm prettier than you. Jackson had the popularity vote and 99 electoral votes. However, it was not enough. The decision had gone to the House of Reps, but they had favored the son of a past president. Sir, what do you want? Um, have you seen the newspapers? What about them? Clay? Secretary of State? Everybody's always talking about me Everybody's saying I'm too tough This cheater took away what should have been mine No more Mr. Nice Guy, I've been playing rough Lose something you should have won Jump on a ride but get kicked off Get cheated by your opponent Did you ever let go? Did you ever 
not know I'm not gonna stop, that's who I am I'll give it all I got, that is my plan Well, I found what I lost, you know you can Bet on it, bet on it, bet on it, bet on it I wanna make it right, that is the way To turn my life around, today is the day Am I the type of guy who means what I say? Bet on it, bet on it, bet on it, bet on it Oh Hold up, bring it on down, gotta relax, gotta do my own thing, hold up. It's no good at all to see yourself and not recognize your face out on my own. It's such a scary place Ooh, the answers are all inside of me All I gotta do is believe I'm not gonna stop, not gonna stop till I get my shot That's who I am, that's my plan We'll end up on top, you can bet on it, bet on it, bet on it, bet on it, yeah Bet on it, bet on it, bet on it, bet on it I wanna make it right, that is the way To turn my life around, today is the day Am I the type of guy who means what I say? Bet on it, bet on it, you can bet on me Although Jackson was angry about losing the election, his political fire was not put out. The time has come for new presidential candidates to come forward. Quincy may have beaten me once, but it will not happen again. I am the one who deserves to be president, and when I run again, I will win. The election of 1824 was not my last chance. This is only the beginning. Just you wait, and you will see what is to become of Mr. Andrew Jackson. Some boys like to read and farm, when I read it's all for law, I was born to read campaign. Some boys prefer to play it safe, I'd rather read a document, I was born to read campaign. Instead of speaking, I go speeching. When I debate, I make it happen. Rachel says I've got Washington on the brain. So strike up the house and hand me my sport coat and boots. Cause I was born to re-campaign. Andrew Jackson wasn't the type of man to give up, and after holding a grudge against John Quincy Adams for four years, the election of 1828 came, and Jackson was ready. Back for more, Jackson? Don't worry, I don't give up. By the end of this election, I'll get what I've been looking for. You can be sure of that. We'll see about that. We have a new president, it seems. Congratulations, Andrew Jackson! I must say, nice job. It was, wasn't it? It was December 22nd, 1828, at the Hermitage Plantation in Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> Rachel died, Andrew went mad with grief. Jackson certainly didn't get along with everybody. Aside from having his own cabinet, 
He was also very stubborn when it came to the Bank of the United States. How does it feel, Jackson? How does it feel being the outcast? Everyone favors the bank except for you. Daryl, I don't care. We all know that you hate the bank because you hate the wealthy. That has nothing to do with it. It's not because I hate the wealthy. It's because it favors the wealthy as well as the East. So, what's wrong with that? You're from the East. You ought to like this idea. I'm not biased. My point is that the banks are unfair. Well, your little pet banks idea isn't much better. You know what, Biddle? I'm sick of you. It doesn't even matter what you think. I'm the president. I can easily veto this. I just want to retire. And it was true. After Jackson gave the federal money to the pet banks, they started printing huge amounts of cash. As a result, the price of land went through the roof, seriously scarring Jackson. He passed a Species Circular Act trying to solve the problem, meaning that land can only be bought with gold or silver or specie. As people hurried to exchange money for specie, land prices plummeted and banks had to close. This led to the Panic of 1837 during Van Buren's presidency. After Jackson finally did retire, he became completely obsessed with politics. He never stopped yearning for political power. When retired, Jackson received many awards and was considered to be the living symbol of democracy. It was June 8, 1845, in Nashville, Tennessee. Andrew Jackson was 78 years old and had grown tired. I took my place In your eyes and strength Now I can die in peace Oh no, 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 if he's I look back on my life I made my mark in history I was the president of four Forgive me all my trespasses and lead me to your glory. Take my hand, you've been such an important man. Take my life, for love is everlasting. And remember the truth that we have spoken. Thanks for the ice pack. Ci rotoliamo sulla moquette. E ci perdiamo nel frigo bar. Illuminiamo con la bajou. I corridoi di questo motel. Sono un uomo di.